hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to another episode on Forza Horizon 2. This episode is going to be a little bit different from my other car build and tuning episodes because this is more like a personal car to me uh, that I use a lot of the time. Uh, because mainly you would have seen a BMW M3 in most of my videos. Um, and you know what? It kind of got annoying just using the same car, same car, but it was so good that I just kept using it and using it. And so I thought it's time for a new car. Um, I spent a whole day, nearly two days, tuning this car. And now it feels absolutely amazing. I've hit the spot with it. Um, I'm really happy with it. So I thought I'd show you guys um, the tune. Um, but first, I'm going to do some drifting. And then you can see how good it performs. And then, and then maybe, 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 I'll show you the tune. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I came down to the, the normal, like, knee section over in this corner down here. Um, but yeah, this is running the stock uh, engine, uh, the two rotor. I was thinking about putting the four rotor into it, but I think the sheer noise of that engine, it slowly wear me down. <laughs> like, it's an amazing engine, it's amazing to listen to, but if I was to run that car all of the time, it would just, it would wear down my ears. My ears would, like, bleed. Because <laughs> it's so fucking loud, it sounds so good that it's. It's a bit too much. Oh my god, thread the needle. Uh, but yeah, this car is amazing. Um, you might think the gearing's a little bit too short. Um, but you know what? It seems to work bouncing off the limiter in this car. Makes it a little bit more stable. So I made the gearing this short uh, because then for sections that are a little bit smaller, uh, we can go to a smaller section later in the episode uh, to show you that. Um, it doesn't bog down uh, when you go around the slower corners. So pretty amazing car to be honest. Um, really happy with the way it's turned out. Um, like I said, I spent a long time tuning this. Um, like my normal car build and tune episodes, I've got 20 like 20 minutes to tune a car. Like, come on, you expect me to tune an amazing car in 20 minutes? I just quite literally slap a bass tune on and just change a few tire pressures, and that's it. Because that's all I can do in 20 minutes. If I was going to spend a whole day, I wouldn't be able to get that into a video. So I thought this would be a better way to do it. Um, having like personal car builds as well as a normal car build and tune episodes because normal car build and tune episodes we get cars that maybe you wouldn't normally see drifting um, but then my personal builds would be like Nissan 350Z or whatever even though it's not in the game <laughs> it's the first car that came into my head but like Mazda RX-8s and just normal kind of drift cars you expect um, so that would be like the personal builds and then my car build and tune episodes will just be random, so whatever I come up with, I will tune it. So, Lushism is a prick, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, this car feels absolutely amazing. Um, so, if you want to check out this tune, you can do. Oh shit, I pressed the wrong button. I went to look behind and I press X by accident. <laughs> uh, let's just resume from here. A lot easier. There we go. Okay, so let's give this the run back and then we'll go to a tighter section kind of show off this car in the tighter sections as well. Okay, let's just go there right now, that fucked it up. <laughs> okay, we're down at the car park section, um, down in the docks area. Um, it's a really tight section, so this is good to shove off the fact that you don't even really have to change gear. Like, you might have to go in gear 2 just to rescue yourself sometimes, uh, but gear 3 is just perfectly fine to just come around like corners like this, and just it just pulls out of it. So perfect there, I didn't really have the best line through that corner there so it did bog down the tiniest bit but it still pulled out uh, with some spinning tyres so it's all perfect, like that, look how slow that's gone and it's just pulling out in gear 3 um, this car is pretty sick, um, I could run on the door with a lot of people um, it's pretty fast, uh, it's running street tyres um, so it might be a little bit slow for controller users maybe um, but for wheel users it's absolutely spot on. Uh, controller users will probably still be fine with it though. I'm trying to keep up with other people. Because I'm running this, the max amount of power you can get in this car um, with the standard engine. I think it's like 589 horsepower. Um, so it's, it's a reasonable amount of horsepower, but it's not amazingly um, a lot, if you know what I mean. So, as you can see, this car is just rinsing this um, tight section around here. Um, if you do need to, you can just shorten the gear in a tiny bit if you start bogging down on these tighter corners because you've got, you got to keep the power down 
Um, you can't lose revs. If you lose revs around those tight corners, that is pretty much it. So if you run, if you run the clutch, um, as I probably can't because I'm on the wheel and I've only got two pedals. Uh, so having a button as the clutch would be quite literally impossible because um, using the handbrake <laughs> on the wheel is pretty much impossible as well. So if you run the clutch, I think this car would be spot on as long as you keep those revs high. And you can use the handbrake to build up some revs, um, but I don't think you really need them because I'm running, I'm running it right now, and I'm not using a handbrake. I'm not using the clutch. So, but I just think with those extra little bits added in, I think this car will be absolutely fine. Uh, just building up those revs a tiny little bit more. Uh, but if if you're coming to a section like this, just shorten up the gear in just the tiniest bit. Like it doesn't really need to be shortened. But you can just drop down to gear two here like that, and then just. Which straight back up into gear three here, like simple gear changes. Like I only like to use gear three. Just I don't know. I don't know really. I just like to use gear three. Um, I've always used it since like the first Forza. So it's a nice car. Um, finally got a new car that I'm kind of happy with the build because um, I've got a lot of new cars in my garage. Uh, they just don't seem to hit the bill. Uh, but this one actually hits the bill of my BMW M3, which I'm really happy with. So. Onto the tune. Um, I'm just going to show you the the tune here. So tires, gearing, the alignment, anti-roll bars, springs, damping, aero, the brakes, and the differential. So that's the tune. Uh, what I am going to do. Is I'm going to upload this onto the storefront. Um, I didn't really want to upload it to the storefront because then loads of people can run it and not just the people from YouTube but it's easier for you guys um, to get all of the to get all of the upgrades down uh, because I'm not going to show the upgrades uh, because it is pretty simple it's just like every other build it's max power just put every everything race in power and then handling put everything race as well and drive down and everything race and street tires like simple right <laughs> um, so if you don't want to do the upgrades for yourself um, you can um, just download the tune and it'll put them on for you so that's that um, I hope you guys enjoyed this if you did give it a thumbs up I'm gonna do best for handling as always <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, see you guys in the next one